How's it going? It's Thursday night, and I know what you're thinking. Rico hasn't done a cooking video or a tech time video or any other kind of adventure video for weeks. This is the fourth in-depth Unchained video in a row. And my answer is, yes, it is. Uh, part of the reason is we're getting ready to go on Adventure Time in just a little over two weeks. We are so excited. It's going to be super epic. But I've been doing a lot of uh, content development in prep for that um, excursion. So because I'm not going to take my laptop with me, I'm not going to do any any editing or whatever on the trip. Um, so I'm doing a lot of stuff in advance so that when I get back, I can push some content out pretty quickly. So that's I'm, I'm not I'm not slacking much, but uh, but but uh, yeah, it's been a little light on content because of that. In the meantime, we just hit three million. We're on Paradise Lost Six. Uh, we're ranked number one sixty four right now. We did really well making a comeback last week after a disastrous Cycle Five run. We're in Paradise Lost. It is going to be brutal, and of course, we will not be chasing any orphans. The goal here is to survive, and if we can, to gain some more health. Um, I'm pretty sure I can handle um, Gabriel at this level. I know I've done Asmodeus at this level. I think I beat Anakin 7 once. So we're getting close to the edge of my uh, capabilities here. But we're going to try to get through this one. Take it one zone at a time. Okay. Let's see what we can see what we can get here. No orphans, no damage. And this may take quite a bit longer than I normally would take because I'm going to be really trying to avoid damage. This is not this is not the zone to jump into and not take damage. All right, we do have a holy armor still from last time. We're down five health. We have six health and a grace of God. Pretty good on arrows. This is good. Overall, we want to save our Tempest because that's really our Gabriel killer. I do like where we're at, though. Okay, well, what I no would normally do is I like to jump up on that balcony over there on the left because it gives me just that doorway in there to fight through. However, Really does depend on how aggressive everything is. I see two monks, a witch, and one, two cupids. So I'm going to try to hit just that corner there and quickly jump up there. Okay, we do have knights. Okay, so we did have a monk alert to us and a witch. The witch couldn't really fire at us, and she knew it. I'm just going to continue here. Yeah, that was pretty good. Saw so how quickly that that brown monk got up there and fired. Right. Not a lot of delay there between that. I feel like we're doing okay, though. Seems like we got most of the things. I don't see too many things alerting. Okay. I didn't see that guy. I was trying to shoot that guy and missed. I was fortunate not to take a hit there. So we're not being as careful as we want to be. We need to... Take a breath and refocus, because we cannot afford to take any damage. All right. That hallway there is pretty, usually pretty empty. There's not always a knight here. I'm just trying to get a couple of headshots while I can. Leisurely score some points here. All right, we're going to go on up. I was pretty sure there was nothing up here, because I missed a few times and nothing alerted. So... So we have a nice safe space here. This is really good. 
just uh, being very careful not to have something pop up. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of cupids here. I want to clear as many as I can without missing and alerting anything else. Cataclysm one. All right, so this is good. So far, so good. Okay, I'm going to jump up. I don't want this arrow, but I do want this. I do want this hallway. A lot of what I'm doing right now is managing my safe spaces. So I did get having a problem. Okay. So my right wrist strap is a little loose and it's bugging me. So shoot. Okay. Oh, it's going to continue to bug me because I'm safe. It's funny what little things are become distractions when you're hyper focused on something and the wrist straps were bugging me. Okay, so far so good though. We have a couple of a couple of cupids down there, but again we're managing our safe spaces. This is a safe space, there's nothing around me. I do want to Use the space to handle these cupids. What I want next is right above. I, I'm going to pull this guy. Because of the safe place, I feel like I can do that. Because if he comes down here, he's going to probably be right over there. Anytime I can pull stuff to me on my terms, is to my benefit. Ooh, there's a quiver. Hello. Oh, what do I want? I'm, I'm going to take Tempest, so I'm going to need Tempest for Gabriel. So pop right out here. I want to drop an arrow right over the battlement there and get that guy. He actually had to move into me. So again, having safe spaces, very critical. But when you pull stuff. Now, I want to go up there because there's stuff inside there. And I do want to get up in there. And I can use that column. I could have used this column to line of sight stuff. So this, this wall too. So I had, had tools. Now, it's very likely that there's something out on that balcony right there. So I wanted to make sure I didn't miss until I was ready to be able to run up here and handle them. Okay. I pulled a monk and at least a witch. Kind of had to just go right back and forth because they were both wanting to wind up and fire so quickly. I've got another Cupid up there. She didn't see that. That witch. That I, I, so I got a witch, witch. I got a witch over there. Let's 
So sometimes, like this, you don't even have time to... Okay, which saw me? That's fine. You don't have time to, when they land, to fire. You just have to go run. So I knew where he was. I just knew I needed to get into a safe place. This is why having a shard and being able to move so rapidly is so important. You know, I was generally safe, so I was trying to get some points through headshots here. Okay, I have two witches coming. I hated leaving that door open behind me. That's why I was shooting so fast. I was feeling very... Because I didn't know what, what was behind me if something had popped up there. Okay, I think I'm in pretty good shape. I've pretty much cleared this building from afar. I think I alerted a monk, so I'm going to hang out here for just a second. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, let's go in here. Now it's very likely there's a cupid. These were this is where I was killing stuff from over there. This is why it was such a benefit. Now could normally I would fire up at that cupid up there just for target practice, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to alert things. If I don't have to. I'm a queen. Go. Okay. Let's go up and clear out this, this hallway here. Okay, it's clear. Pretty good so far. So, it did take a, a moment to shard up underneath him because I wanted to get out of this doorway knowing that I had that guy. This guy I wasn't so worried about. But I was worried about the I was worried about the cupid. I've got another cupid here that I think one of the ones that I ignored. No. That whole courtyard there's a mess. I kind of like to get up in that space there. That balcony right there where that monk is. Rather than try to come in to that space. I'll clear out all of this. But instead of getting down in that courtyard, I'll probably come back around and go in there because I can use that doorway as a... This is a very dangerous entry. Because of that. And all those... I wanted to, I wanted to clear all that out. Something's firing at me. I mean now. Um. Okay, I was just dodging those guys. Clearly, trying to not take any chances. Now, I have that whole building. I have all of that. I want to take out this guy. He's in a place that's kind of familiarity and bugging me. I think that guy too. Some monk saw me. You notice I got my back to a wall here in a corner with enough room for something to teleport in front of me. just fired at me. That guy. Okay. Alright, so I got a monk up there. I'm not really worried about him. And I'll be honest, that courtyard's... So I got two white monks there. That could get really, really hairy. Really quickly. 
this is the time where I think I want to go into that side door. Let's go through here. Okay. This tower is now a safe space, by the way. I have so proclaimed. I'm listening to the white monk firing. He stopped. I couldn't get back into this space until he stopped firing. Okay, this is safe but dangerous because that whole courtyard is just chock full of things. Make sure nothing pops up over there. As long as they're in front of me, everything is good. Okay, that's what, who I was looking for. That column there is killing me. We're going to let him come to us. Okay. Now I want, I want to go up here. Because I knew there was another monk up here. Volley. Clearing out this courtyard was a big deal. That's always a, a real pain. Now I got a witch over there, and I got a cupid over there. Pretty sure I could pick the cupid and then just come over here and polish her off. Feeling pretty good about, oops. Um. Something weird just happened with my with my shield, and I'm liable to take a hit. I let go of my shield, and it stayed in place, and I couldn't fire. Okay, Whew. all right, let's go over here. Okay. Whew. Okay, so all we have is this approach right there. I know I've got something up there. I don't know what. I think it was a monk. I want to. I think I, I think I got them all. Okay, well, there's zone one. Phew. Okay, let's see what we've got in the shop. Love a little blood. There's one. Wildfire, holy light. I'll take the blood. All right, so we're down five. Give me two. No, just one. Okay, that being said, pretty happy with that. All right, ooh, okay, four, five, six cupids, four, one, another one there, another one there. So there's five, six, seven, eight cupids to start with. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta say what the heck. And we're gonna we're gonna go with that. I don't want to waste any more tempests. And I've got another Cupid firing at me. Hopefully he'll come visit. Yes, he did. Okay, what do we got now? We have a Red Knight. We have another Cupid there. Not anymore. We have one Red Knight. We've got a Witch. Another Witch. And a White Knight. A little target practicing. Who? 
Ooh, nice. Nice. How did that not kill him? Headshot from here. Let's finish off Mr. Red Knight down here. And then I want to... Oh, I want to kill this guy. Come on. Okay, headshot. Nice. I want to get that witch's attention there and have her come over. As long as she can see you, she's going to fire at you. The two witches' attention that time. One of them should come visit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump over. We're just, we're just worried about that guy. Oh boy, okay. Winner's fight. Okay. That'll do. Lots and lots of bads out there. Okay, I just want to come around here and just look to make sure. I wanted to make sure there's nothing sneaky going on behind me all right what do we got one two three four five six seven cupids eight one two three yeah and two witches well try picking off a couple of cupids here i think i got a headshot on that one second from that guy right there. there. I think there's a witch over there probably too. Well, there's a knight for sure. Well, there's nothing risky about getting this knight here. Nice. Let's go upstairs. I really hurry because I don't want any of those cupids up there singing. So this is our new safe place here. Look, we can see Gabriel's lair from here. Okay, well, we've got all of these cupids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cupids. Oh. Nice. Okay. 
Well, let's keep picking, picking off the cupids here. Ooh. All right, one of those two almost got me, but they're probably going to come over. So let's hang out right here for a minute. I almost missed that first shot. I'm actually more surprised that nothing above me has alerted yet because there's a whole bunch of should be a whole bunch of stuff up there all right well that was good cleaning all that out Oof. all right rapid fire to the rescue okay that little sneaker there okay got three more Cupid's there. Now we have a really good safe place right there inside that tower. We have three more Cupid's there. A witch and a red knight. And then that whole zone there gets a little sketchy. So we just have to be super duper careful. All right. Um, I'm going to try to pick off at least one of the Cupid's. Okay, that's good. And I got... One shot on the witch. Headshot, I think. She should be coming over. No, she's already forgotten about us. We're just going to do a little target practice until the witch decides to come pay us a visit. Oh, she's again forgotten. Okay, so the, the entryway into this is area is clear. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a number, they're not even spawned yet, but there's going to be cupids around that tower underneath. And uh, we want to get on that balcony to the right. There's our, so this is our safe place now. Sort of not so safe anymore. And there's our Cupid that we're not going to go after. Okay, so we're gonna that right here and wait. Okay. One witch. I just want to make sure she was super duper angry before I line of sighted her. Now I want to wait because she may have dropped a plasma ball before she teleported. They'll do that with the expectation that you may not think there's one coming. And uh, I've got four or five cupids. 
right here. But I'm okay, I think, over here now. Got two of them. I'm safe enough to take a few shots at this knight here while we wait for him. Maybe two more up there. We gotta be careful because that whole balcony up there is just chock full of folks. We really don't want to get their attention if we can avoid it. We'll wait for him to fire one more time. Let's see? Had I not waited, he probably would have hit me with that. Okay. We can go up there now. And there's probably something on the other side of that wall there, so let's go. Yep. Yep, there's some things. Let's go down. Uh, there was a lot of cupids hanging around up there. Why is that other cupid didn't alert? It's almost like you didn't see me. Yeah, see, those weren't even spawned yet. I just didn't want to be dealing with a melee guy while staring up into the sky. I can deal with all of the stupids. Okay, so this is a little dangerous. We have that balcony, but we can't really jump on that balcony because there's stuff on that balcony that's going to see us and come after us. So, pretty safe. Problem is, we don't know what's right in that room. And it sounded like there was a knight because I heard, thought I heard somebody pull a sword. All right, so let's. Okay, Winter's Bite. And I, because I didn't want to have my back turned to that balcony. Come on. Because when you turn your back to that balcony, you get Cupid on there that will put an arrow in the back of your head. Okay, so we have two red knights with shields. This is a winner's bite moment. Because I don't want to miss and have arrows go through that doorway and alert everything that's down that hall. I moved away because I have had, in the past, even when they're dying, the back swing of their sword caused me damage. So I was afraid, just like he did, that when I hit him, he was going to fall and that sword was going to come around and with the potential of causing me a hit. That's a winner's bite. That is very fortuitous. So we can pretty much use our winner's bites up and again we do not want to fire down the hallway and out the door we don't we, we can avoid it they keep popping up here just in perfect places I'm stuck behind the column you see we've got Where did she go? She teleported inside. Okay. Okay. That's why uh, I was trying to face pull him to bring him over here. You gonna give us more than that? I mean, we could winners bite him. Typically when I have knights with shields, oh, oh, you, sneaker. Typically when I have knights with shields, if I want a winner's bite them, I usually winner's bite them in the, in the knee or the foot, somewhere below the shield. I don't want to get out here. I knew that guy was there. And there's always that sneaker there in the tower. Now, oftentimes there's a winner's bite, I don't a winner's bite, a blood there. Oh boy. And there's not. Okay, so this whole this whole zone, I got the one blood in the uh, 
face pulling. I got the one blood in the shop, and that's it. We're definitely going to get that winner's bite. And I thought that was, yeah, there's a cupid right there. Then pick these guys off. nice headshots there okay this whole place is clear i'm going to leave the winner's bite for a moment because i want to see what's in here i've got a red knight a red knight a white knight and another red knight so that's actually pretty nice if we can kind of get some headshots here hit the witch she did get a plasma ball off let's avoid that Now let's headshot this knight here. Okay, she's done. Now we can do a little target practice with these uh, with these knights and get some points. Nice. Okay. Getting my grid popping up. These guys are just hanging out back here. I get a headshot or two and get some points because they're just, they're not a threat of any sort. Ball of lightning. Blood of the lamb. Blood of the lamb is what we want. We're going to get a blood, of course, as we enter Gabriel's area. So we could be as little as two down when we get in there. Oh. Hi, I'm just hanging out here like nothing. Okay, that may be it. Just wanted to peek around the corner. Okay, that's it. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, I want I want my winner's bite. Let's get that. Let's get back and pick that up. That is absolutely a, a drop that we want. Okay, Whew. so we're gonna. Do our standard burn on Gabriel. We're going to jump in. When he lands, we're going to be right under his feet. We're going to hit him under the chin with a winner's bite. We're going to blow him up with cat fives. Try to get headshots. Knock him off the uh, knock him off the island, and then burn him down with with uh, tempest. And if we don't kill him by the time he starts getting back to the island, we're going to drop a hand of God on him and. Uh, Finish him from that perspective with some more cat fives. Still only got one. Okay, just like I just like I said, this should be about twenty seconds. That was close. Didn't get him as many as I wanted to with the Tempests. And a god with a headshot, cat fives. Do I have any Tempests left? Okay, I did get hit. He did. He did get a holy armor off of me. But guess what? I got another one. And did they get me health? Give me two. Come on. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Whew. All right. We are entering the abyss six with almost full health. One holy armor. Grace of God. Got 130k in that zone. So let's see where that leaves us. Let's go on over to the abyss and we'll go to sanctuary and see where we ended up. Yeah, that's what's great about the holy armor. Instead of taking three damage there, I just took the one holy armor loss. So, you know, that's that's really nice about having armor like that. 
All right, let's go and see where I am on the board. So 3.13 up to 151. So 151 on the board is where we are. Okay, well, next week we'll be in the Abyss 6, followed by Purgatory 7. And hopefully, well, hopefully not. Hopefully I don't end there, but after that I'll be on a vacation for a week, so you're going to miss me for a week. Maybe I'll try to squeeze another one in so you can have one while I'm away. But in the meantime, apparently my camera's dead, so, uh, or at least it's, it's angry at me. Okay. Everybody, thank you all, as always, for stopping by and for your time, for your subs, all that good stuff. We're out of here, and we will see you next week. Bye now.